Hey guys, it's Justin Parnell back again with another episode of Journey of Discovery, the free-to-play MTG Arena series. If you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Give it a share and a like and a comment if you can. And if you want to listen to the Think Twice podcast, search Think Twice MTG on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Stitcher, and Spotify. And of course, you can go to patreon.com slash thinktwicemtg to support this, this show or the Think Twice podcast. That's how the show gets made. All right. Since Core Set 2019 is the limited format that is still the, the ranked format, I don't have any desire to play that. I'm kind of waiting for Ravnica Legions to come out for the uh, one that we can use our gold on rather than our gems. So we're going to double up on Constructed this week, which is okay because we obviously have more Ravnica Allegiance. But the first thing that we're going to do is crack open these three packs. Uh, and maybe if we're quite fortunate will positively uh, positively affect what we're going to play this week. All right, more wild cards are always good. Consecrate Consume is good. Smothering Tithe. Not one that we had lined up, but I do think that's a sweet card. Maybe more so for Commander than uh, any of these formats. Amplifier. Not exactly what we were looking for. Uncommon Wild Card. Plus another Uncommon Wild Card. And a Rare Wild Card. Great. Well, this will be appropriate because we're going to use exactly one rare wild card for the deck that we're going to be playing with today. All right, so the deck that we're going to be playing with today is a Hero of Precinct 1 deck. And as I like to do kind of early in the format as we did with Guild of Ravnica is kind of form our collection based on what we've opened. Now, obviously, that means a lot of guilds cards uh, and a lot of our deck is going to be comprised of cards from Guilds of Ravnica, but there's a handful in here that are specifically not from that set and ones that we've opened so far in Ravnica Legions. Notably, three Hero Precinct 1, which is an early favorite for, for one of my favorite cards in the set, as well as three Gruul Spellbreaker, uh, Ravager Worm, and a couple of Rhythm of the Wild, as well as a Stomping Ground for now. Um, so this is a Hero of Precinct 1 deck, where we're playing a lot of multicolored cards to take advantage of Hero Precinct 1. We have a small Angel sub thing with a Lyra, uh, two Shalai, two Aurelia, and, and really just a lot of value creatures where we can kind of get aggressive as needed. We even have Flower and Flourish as something that is cheap that can trigger Hero Precinct 1, uh, as well as we can't cast Finality, although I think I'll probably put just a couple of black sources in the deck just uh, just in, in the off chance that we th that we that we find those so we can cast it maybe put an isolated chapel and a um, a woodland cemetery in here in fact let's go ahead and do that just for the the rare attempt for us to be able to cast it but the first thing we're gonna do is make this go from 59 to 60 and we're going to plus and make our fourth hero precinct one, which is going to be critical to this deck success. So that's something, again, that we like to do kind of early in the format is is playing with what we have opened and trying to make the best of what we, we can. Because I like playing different decks. I'm sure most of you guys like playing different decks. You don't just want to play the same thing over and over again, but that can be difficult when you have a, a limited amount of cards, uh, as we do here. So... We're going to take out a Plains, add in, actually, let's add in a Godless Shrine, and then we'll take out a Forest and add in a Woodland Cemetery. And we're just going to have just those two. We don't want one, we don't necessarily need one for the red. Um... Actually, I think rather than the Woodland Cemetery, because this is this is green, I think we're going to actually uh, take out a mountain, add a forest back, and then put in a Blood Crypt. That way, when we actually get to the point where we're casting this card, we're not we're not needing to use a single land for the black and the green part. Okay. So, 
Here we go. Uh, slight little four colors, but not really. We're just a, 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 a tiny little bit for us to be able to cast this. And let's run this through a constructed event and see how we do. Okay, so, well, this looks like a very solid hand because we have a nice little curve of Sacred Foundry into Sun Petal Grove for Hero, Precinct 1, and then Rhythm of the Wild. So we will keep this hand for sure. We're playing against Elsa the Snow Queen. This is what uh, my 14-year-old Parker called Ali when he came to visit because the last two times he's come to visit is the only two times in the last year that it snowed. Uh, so Ollie's, Ollie's been dubbed Elsa. Now Rhythm of the Wild, not great with tokens, but it's powerful enough, uh, obviously against control decks because creatures are uncounterable and giving, giving everything else riot like keeping Trishani Discordant, giving it five toughness so it can't die to something like Lava Coil. Um, and Haste is obviously just fantastic, so. Looks like our opponent might be a little shy on lands. Which is going to be unfortunate. Uh, we might, might be ending this game in short order with this curve. Yeah, and here we have a a Conclave Cavalier, which I actually think that I would rather play, but we don't have another green, so Shalai it is. And we're just going to give Shalai haste. Next round, we're going to give... We're going to give Tristani plus one, plus one, just because Tristani is unlikely to tangle as much in combat. Sun Cleanser. Okay. Shalai has been cleansed. And we'll pay two. We'll play Tristani. We're going to give Tristani a... Let's see. You... I'm probably playing white. Okay, sure. We'll give Trishani haste. And just attack with everything. Yep. All right. Well, our opponent, our opponent did get did stumble on lands. That was a good curve, though. It would have been interesting to see if we were playing against uh, something else. All right. This hand significantly uglier than the last. One that we're going to mulligan, in fact. Need some early interaction. This is not quite the early interaction that we wanted. Uh, we do need red, but if we find some red, then our hand will be turned on. So actually, I'm going to keep, just because we can get a second land and we can scry to try to find a red, and we do, immediately. Okay, so we do have our we do have our Lyra, but we have to make it. And in the interest of not taking damage, we're just going to put this on the battlefield tapped. Maximum velocity on fanatical firebrand. That's a little scary. That means that opponent probably just wants to get as many cards out of their hand as possible. We'll see, I guess. And we definitely want to cast Integrity. I think I'm just going to hold this Justice Strike to see if we can uh, boop something, so to speak. Because even, even if we don't, next turn, we can play Flower Flourish get a planes, play the planes, and still have Justice Strike up again. Great goal would be getting Rhythm of the Wild down and having Lyra be able to come out on turn five with haste. I imagine that's something like that will probably win us the game if we can connect. Okay, our opponent may be 
lighting up the stage, perhaps? Okay. Or not. Uh, in that case... Yep, let's... Let's just play hero. And then we'll pass the turn. If our opponent goes to kill it, we can give it plus two, plus two. Otherwise, this is going to get us uh, some solid blockers. Okay. We'll take one. Okay. Well, that's good. Uh, now we can deal three to the Chain Whirler. Gain three. Actually, I think we still want to... I think we're just going to get a couple of tokens. We're going to get a forest with this now. And then we're going to play our Rhythm of the Wild. This way we... This, this, this assures us to hit with Lyra. We will not attack. We will, however, block if our opponent does not play another Goblin Chain Whirler. It's always the chance that they do. We would not like that too much. Maximum velocity. All right. Maximum velocity. All right. This thing has a lot of velocity. Maximum velocity. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're getting two phoenixes back. Okay, I understand. Alright, clever. We'll, we'll block you. We'll go to nine. Well, we are going to play Lyra. And... Opponent has two cards in their, in, in their hand. So that would mean that... So we attack them to we attack them for seven to thirteen. We go to fourteen. We would block here. I think we actually just want to give it plus one, plus one, given what our opponent is working with. And then just attack with the hero. Because we're not gonna be blocking with it. This is just this is just more life overall. Uh, because if we attack them for five, our opponent can attack us back for six. Even though we get our opponent down, it's more important for us to keep our life total high. So I think this accomplishes that better. Three shocks would kill us. Because they could attack. Okay. We will get a phoenix and block the chain whirler. Okay. Well, in that case, uh, yeah, I think we're probably good now. Skew the critics. Okay. And another one. Lightning strike. Okay. Whew. All right. Well, this is going to get our Lyra back. And I want to... I am going to take two so I can get Lyra back and still be able to hold up. Yeah. Good enough just to get Lyra back and still be able to hold up uh, Integrity Intervention. We're definitely getting to the point where this is going to have haste next time. Shock. All right. Light up the stage. All right. All right. Well, they can get back their 
phoenix by skewering. Get back a phoenix anyway. Okay. Resolves. Okay, so let's intervention a phoenix. Go to eight. Block one here. We go to five. This allows us to kill a phoenix. Yeah, they would have to draw... Yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to get Phoenix back next turn, so... Haste this time. And then we're going to go here, here. I think we can I think we can go to eight because it's it's a removal spell. So So even if they kill this, we can still get it during combat. Touring voice, okay. Yeah, it's still gonna be really difficult for them to get back Phoenix just because they either have a land or not a land. So, eight, nine. All right, let's. So they would have to have a shock. Whatever, we'll just get the Phoenix and then block the, block the Chain Whirler. Keep our life total high. Rather than try to just kill them next turn. Which we would be unable to anyway. No color blocker. Sure. Okay. There are two, so even if they manage to kill Lyra... I don't think they can deal us enough damage. Okay. Light up the stage, maybe, is coming. Okay, looks like they are going to go for the Lyra. Killing Lyra. Okay. They can't attack, though. Or they can. All right. Well, Night of Autumn's good. That would have done it anyway. All right. Defeated Mono Red with our one Lyra. Okay. We are on the draw. And I think I would like to mulligan this hand. And this one. And this one. And this one. <laughs> Ugh. I think we have to keep this. This is the closest thing we have to a land, and it gets us another one. That's on the bottom. Okay. May have been ambitious to go to 22 lands with four of these. Because you still have to have them. Okay, probably looks like a Bant. Uh, Bant-style deck. And let's go ahead and get a planes. Play the planes. And never be able to kill Wild Growth Walker with Justice Strike. Especially if this is a Jade Light Ranger. Well, hey. Poor Man's Jade Light Ranger is still pretty good. Like, probably good enough to get us on a mold of four, but. Okay. 
They have a Shalai. That's going to make it difficult since we have these two Justice Strikes. Taking two, Shalai. We'll get their Wayfinder. We do have two planes for our, our Lyra. All right. Well, we can play Lyra next turn. There is that. However, this Justice Strike isn't going to do anything for a while. Yep. Can't get that one either. All right, so we're going to take 5 to 11. Okay. Cavalier is not bad. I, I want to get the Lyra down first, though. Cavalier will be good at gumming up the ground. Now, if our opponent has a Tefri or something to get rid of this Lyra, then we're obviously in trouble, but this is a, about as good as we can do. Lyra on turn 5 on a multi-4 with a no land hand. So, deputy of detention, yep. Let me take six. Go to five. Can't go hero into Conclave Cavalier, unfortunately. Or a a white mana, an additional white mana short of that. But at least I can say that we put up a fight here. Might not have been much of a fight. Especially with Lyra, which is gonna give give Shalai lifelink plus one plus one. That's supposed to be our trick. Now, we would be dead. We would be dead. If we can find a way to get rid of this, we can deal this four, then, then it would die to state-based effects, but we, we cannot. I'm not sure what my uh, thing to do is today, my quest, but we're just going to try to cast as many spells as possible. Okay. We get in four free damage. Excellent. All right, we're dead. Dive down. Just to show us what for. Okay. All right, that was a mold of four. That was a mold of four. All right, on the draw, this is actually a very solid hand. We have three lands, removal, and a solid bomb. And we're just going to play this tapped. If we can get a hero out and then play this to get a land, we get a free 1-1 one, one out of the deal. And our mana is looking pretty solid as is, so... We'll play this in case they have a Thief of Sanity. They do not, as it turns out. All right, we will we'll we'll try to make a Knight of Autumn and try to make it big. Now, could they moment of craving in response? Cast down, sure. Everything else in our hand is legendary. A 
At this point, with Flower Flourish, we are getting to the point... Ooh, we have we have a white man alert. We're getting to the point where it uh, gives our team plus two, plus two. So we'll play two, and then we'll try to make a Tristani. If this one if this one bites the dust, we have another one. And if it doesn't, then great for us. It does. Okay. We'll not be getting that one back with fine finality later, though. Tefri, sure. I am not going to do this. Keep up the pace. There he is. Okay. All right. So opponent has sinister sabotage available. Uh, due to this, I think I would rather try to play Lyra. We're not going to play our land first, because they have Syncopate that can Syncopate for two. So we're not really, we're not really getting anywhere. Absorb, sure. Okay. Kai's Wrath is something we have to look out for, but they only have one... White source as it stands currently, but Tefri has a way of making that, uh, you know, not be the case. Okay. Let's try for hero into Tristani. Hero resolved immediately. So worst case scenario, we have three power. Okay, we have a lot, but surely they will have something else to say about it. No time for a break. Okay, here's a second white. So we have to be where there it is. Weary of Kai's Wrath, before I could even get it out of my mouth. I feel like we were in pretty good position otherwise, and now we are in bad position to this Tefri. We need to move quickly. Bell Haunt. Well, we're going to discard this Flower Flourish instead of the Forest that we played. Precognitive Perception. So Scry 3, then draw 3. That's going to be pretty good. We're close to packing this one in. This, does this noise keep going forever? Okay. Just as long as they're scrying, that's a good way to get someone to concede. Okay. We're done. We're done here. Uh, no need to keep going with this one. Oh, uh, this seems fine. We're a forest away from having Conclave Cavalier. There is our forest. We'll play Rootbound Crag in case we need to Justice Strike next turn and play a Inner of the Battlefield tapped land next turn as well. We do not. We'll play a Gruel Spellbreaker. And let's give it a plus one plus one counter just because we're not gonna 
We're not going to kill our opponent with this Gruel Spellbreaker. It's highly unlikely, anyway. We will attack. I imagine our opponent will elect to not block. Let's see if our big beefy creatures our ogre ogre warriors and centaur knights can make it. All right. Well, we'll we're going to just a strike, but let's see if they throw out a double block. No such luck. Let's go ahead and get this ooze. Because that, that's a way, that's a good, a good, great way for us to lose. And we'll make this big enough to trade with the ooze. Hydroid Crace this time. They only gained two, but they would put a 4-4 four -four onto the battlefield. Hydroid Crace this time, all right. Shalai is not bad. We'll go ahead and attack with all of our creatures. Put our opponent to four. And we're going to play a Shalai. Reason being, if our opponent... Um, Plays it if they don't have a land, they play an ooze again. Okay, they do have a land. If they play an ooze again, then it's a 5 5. We can attack just with the cavalier, give it uh, plus. Well, I guess we still attack, we attack f with, with both. And if they, ooh, finality. Okay, that's interesting because our opponent's now dead so. All right, they they determined they determined that was the case as well. All right, this hand is powerful, but very slow. We're gonna be able to cast any spells that we want, virtually. I think I think we keep it. I have a feeling that we're gonna get punished for this decision. Maybe not. Maybe not. We'll conce <clears throat> conceal this godless shrine for as long as we can. It's essentially just a white mana, which we have plenty of. Interesting. We'll play Sun Petal Grove in the event we need to cast justice upon uh, one of our opponent's creatures. They'll not be raging raptors. We will not cast justice on that. I would love to kill this Huntmaster. Uh, that does not appear to be in the cards today. Okay. Flower Flourish. It's going to come to play tapped, and we'll pass the turn. Forerunners of the Empire. We resolve. So, next turn, we're going to play this. We're going to play a land untapped. One way or the other. Yeah, because we're not going to let them draw, get a land, and do this whole, all, all this BS. It's not going to happen. Okay, there's Night of Autumn. We'll pay two. And then we go to then when they go to cast this this uh, Ripjaw Raptor, which is going to be right now. Okay, we're gonna 
Lightning Helix, this Forerunner of the Empire. So they will be able to attack for six, which is going to inconvenience us pretty greatly. Okay, here's a Temple Garden. And we are going to go ahead and pay two and make a Tristani. Not great to block, to chump block dinosaurs. That's not something that they like doing very much. So we got to hope our opponent doesn't have another big one. Okay, they do. They don't have the city's blessing yet, but one more permanent and they will. I have a feeling it is it is coming up in short order. Savage Stomp. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Doesn't get this in the city's blessing. Um but we did want that Tristani. So we could go to one. Which I think we want to do so we can play this other Tristani. And gain more life. And if our opponent gets us with a with a lightning strike or something right now, then so be it. Okay, so we're gonna play this to get a forest. Play the forest and then play Tristani. If our opponent has another Savage Stomped, then we're, we're rightfully stomped. This cannot attack or block unless you have the City's Blessing. So we can go to five. Okay. We'll do that. We essentially need to set up a turn where we can... I mean, we have to fade stuff. They do have the City's Blessing now, which is something to note. They cannot play their other Raptor, though. But if they Savage Stomp us again... Ugh. Yuck. Big time yuck. Yeah, we're still not dead... But we are not in good shape. It's not how I would describe good shape looking like. Okay. So, we have to block here. And then elsewhere. We don't have to block the raptor. But I would rather stay at five. And give them another card, especially with this coming down and our, our team likely... Fighting the dust anyway. Yeah, sure. We need a wrath now. As each creature, yep. Okay. <laughs> Hero is not as good against this Forerunner of the Empire. All right, so we can... I think we have to play Aurelia. And then... I think the first thing we do is attack. Play really, then attack. So we can gain some 
some amount of life. We're gonna just strike this stupid wayward sword tooth at some point. Okay. There's just way too much text on Aurelia. It's just, it's just they're like, I'm just gonna put all these words on this thing. That'll be good, right? Well, this isn't blocking, so that means it's attacking. They can chump, at least we're gonna go to nine. I'd love if they blocked with the Forerunner of the Empire. Not, not that way, the other way. Let's see. Did we play a land? We have not played a land yet. So we can do this with this and go get a planes. Just so we can cast as many spells as possible on the, the next turn that we don't have. Okay, here's a Ripjaw Raptor. We'll let that resolve. It's gonna deal one to everything. Opponent's gonna have so many triggers. They're gonna get all of them. Okay, do they have another dinosaur? Nope. They've not given their first dinosaur haste. All right. Okay, so we're not dead. We can, if this doesn't give them a card, yeah, we're just going to get their sword tooth. We're going to take one more and go to three, but we're, you know, we're still, we're not dead. Somehow. By the grace of Erebos. No blocks. Okay. That's a card. That's a card. Well, let's play. Let's play this hero, because we have to assume everything lives from here on out for the rest, the entire rest of the game. And it doesn't get haste, so we'll we'll give our own Aurelia this bonus attack. Okay, we're gonna play our Lyra. Oh no, we sh that was so dumb. This gives this gives this life link. So we could have gained five, gone to eight, and did not. It's a moronic play. We're gonna get rightfully punished here. Looks like it's not gonna matter a ton. <laughs> All right. Yep, they have a million things. They have so many things. Approximately one million. Okay. So we should be at eight and our opponent should be at, we should both be at eight. 
If I wasn't an idiot. Brothodon? Okay. I bet you're not going to deal one to everything. Okay. I think we win. I think we're just going to untap and then, then win. Uh, nope. Okay. So we can kill this one. Gain... Five, go to eight, take six. We can we can get this one for fun. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Somehow. Some way. I don't know how, but Despite our punt last turn, I guess this is why you don't concede. Uh, we are going to first play this Knight of Autumn. And I guess we're going to gain four life. And we're going to target Lyra. And attack with both. Wow. What a ridiculous comeback. Okay, on the play. We need one land, and if we get it, we are in great shape. I think I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. I feel like we have to be running good after that last one. Okay. All right. That is a land... And we'll pass the turn. Against my better judgment? Curious Obsession, because they're going to have Dive Down. We'll let them, we'll let them hit us. We'll let them hit us. And then, uh... They don't play anything here. We'll justice strike. Okay. We'll try to justice strike and then we will untap and uh, Knight of Autumn and get there. Yep, there's dive down. Yep, and we'll get there uh, enchantment. Can't protect that one. I feel fine. I'm fine with that trade. Totally fine with that trade. There's a hero. Let's attack first, because we're not blocking. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that seems good. We'll play this tapped. We'll play a hero. Now, if they have a wizard retort, that's fine. We got Tristani next turn, so... And even if, even if we don't have Tristani, we have hero and define finality, get back two knights... Okay, so we're going to do that play. White. White. Hero. And let's get another green. Great. Uh, let's get back to Knight of Autumns. Excellent. All right. That was a good turn for us. Our opponent is lousy with Siren Storm Tamers. Bad news is we're lousy with killing them. Oh, yeah. Let's get on in there. I mean, they can certainly bounce our Tristani, but 
They needed to do it already. Our opponent is just flooding out. Cruel Spellbreaker is a nice one. Yeah, we'll just play it. Why not? This does this does put uh, lethal on our opponent with a removal spell with haste. Trickster, okay. They're gonna tap Trist They're not gonna tap Tristani. Okay. Well, now they're dead. Tristani uh, tapping Tristani would have given would have given um. Not this one's attacking would have uh, removed plus one plus one from from our team, but not how it went. So we'll bash. Okay, on the play, we need a third land, preferably. A white one? Uh, if we get it, we're in good shape. If not, it's going to be rough. You know what? We'll keep. We've, we've, come, we've come this far running hot. I think it's only right that we continue to do so. We'll play the forest in case we draw the flower flourish. That way we can go ahead and get our white source and play it. The old mountain conclave cavalier. Okay. There's hero, which was would it would be great, obviously, if we could curve hero into one of these friends here. Okay. All right. Now it's starting to get ugly. It's going to get really ugly next turn. I believe this is going to be our, our discard. Uh -oh. White? All right. I believe our luck has run out. I think we can officially say that our luck has, has run out. Need a white this turn to not just... Uh-oh. Oh, no. Nope. This, one's, this one is not going to work out. We're going to take 12 here and then just be dead the next turn. If there's a white source that comes into play tapped, that's likely what we'll draw. I don't think we have one of those. Yep. We're just dead. There's Ravager Worm. Okay. Well, I feel like this, you know, this gets us back from uh, the the couple of run goods that we had earlier. Okay. Well, we ended up with um, five wins, which is good enough to get us. We did upgrade on gold. We did get a Rare and two uncommons. Obviously, six is kind of the best case because that gets you two rares. But, you know, maybe we'll get an upgrade. We did not. True Fire Captain, another Conclave Cavalier, and Bellish Marshal. Not bad. It's like it wants us to play creatures or something. All right. Well, that was uh, Nine Hero. The deck that I want to play ultimately is the Esper Midrange deck. Uh, Wyatt Darby played that last weekend at the SCG Tour Indianapolis. That is probably the deck that I have my eyes on for standard that looks like a lot of fun right up my alley. So that's that's one that I'm going to be uh, slow, slowly building towards. Uh, I played at a lot of events over the weekend and got a couple of cards just from wild cards or from free, I guess, from IRCs for that. So hopefully moving forward uh, when I get a little more in the mana base just because it's very rare wild card intensive, but... 
those are good things to use your wild cards on because you once you unlock your mana base, uh, you you don't have issues like this like that we had today. So. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, if you want to see more content like this, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Visit patreon.com slash thinkswicemtg to support the show. That's how this show gets made, by supporting our podcast there. And of course, you can listen to the Think Twice podcast by searching Think Twice MTG, SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Stitcher, Spotify, any other audio platform that you guys find. But thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this. We'll, we'll be seeing Hero Precinct 1 uh, and all different flavors. That's going to be one that I'm going to try to brew around a little bit. Um, but thanks again, guys. Catch you next time.